Well, good Monday morning, everybody. Dave Morris here in the Oklahoma's Video Studio. Mike Knopp, Executive Director of the Oklahoma City Boathouse Foundation, joins us as he always does on Monday mornings. And Mike, thanks for joining us on this <laughs> Monday morning. You had a busy weekend following several busy days. Yeah. This Monday morning was a little more difficult because <laughs> it was a busy weekend, but it was great. I mean, we had a tremendous weekend on the river, just introducing River Sport Rapids um, to the world, really. And um, you know, I don't think the, the racing could have gone any better. I think people had a, a wonderful experience. Yeah. Looking at some footage there from the Boathouse District, the River Sports Rapids. Let's recap what you had going this weekend. You had the grand opening of that facility right there. We're looking at the River Sport Rapids. Also, Olympic trials in that venue, the U.S. Youth Rowing Championships, and the Road to Rio event. You had a lot going on. There was a lot, a lot in the mix, and I think it was neat to be able to see how our venue can support multiple things going on at one time. Totally different sporting events, major, major sporting events at one time, and um, and then how the public were able, they were still able to interact. I mean, we had athletes achieving their position on the Olympic team while families were just having a blast going down the recreational channel in the Whitewater Center. And look at that. To your point, uh, one thing I noticed. And Joe Jacoby mentioned this when I spoke with him on Saturday. Uh, people were on the bridges. They could oversee yeah. what was going on as, it, as the, the event basically came towards them or under them. But then they go along the river, and you could get right up next to the water. Yeah, you, I mean, literally, there's... Uh, by uh, river, I mean the rapids. The rapids, yes. We had some of the rowers that were there for the championship, including the CEO of U.S. Rowing, came up. And they, they were amazed by how in this sport, in this whitewater sport you literally get right next to the athletes in, in action and that that's that was really neat for people to be able to be able to see and um, and just to, to these athletes we're going to watch on TV this summer and to be able to be that close to them as they achieve their spot I thought was pretty neat these athletes seemed pretty authentic uh, I interviewed Casey Eichfeld a couple times he seemed like he just enjoys what he does yeah. and enjoys interacting with the people but the people eat that up what they do, and um, for many of these guys and, and these, these ladies who, who really have been doing this a good part of their life, they've been all over the world. And um, I think it was really powerful for them to be able to, to, to come to Oklahoma City, help open this Whitewater Center while achieving their spot or attempting to achieve their spot in the Olympic team. But I think it struck them that this was like really embedded into our community now, right in the center of town, in o downtown Oklahoma City. I kept getting that comment, all weekend long about they almost had to pinch themselves when they looked up and there was a skyline like right in front of them and, and usually this is out in the woods or in the in you know in remote areas and so I think I think that was really really cool to see and you know I've talked a lot over the last few years as we were you know working on this whitewater project that we kind of saw the project becoming kind of like our beach here in Oklahoma City I mean not in a way that people just come and hang out by the water enjoy a day out and and it really I saw that come to fruition this weekend with all the activities people just in a lawn chair hanging out with their dogs you know watching watching everything go on in the water in fact after the Olympic trials were concluded the announcer just st stuck around and started kind of DJing the action on the uh, recreational channel with everyone uh, <laughs> you know paddling through and in, in, in all different types of rafts and tubes and whatnot it was cool to see why these guys are doing work on the uh, the Olympic trials in the the Rapids area on the outside channel. There was the rafting, and of course, you're looking at Road to Rio footage where the kiddos are doing the high jump. Yeah, a little bike action. You see the uh, yeah. the zip line going on in the background. <laughs> yeah, it really did have that kind of a beach feel. It's a very good location, um, layout wise, as you're as you're standing there, just kind of scanning the horizon. Yeah. You have the, the the skyline. You have the river. This is just laid out well. It's it's a fairly expanded put, footprint out there as well. Well, I realized that this weekend. I sure did <laughs> put a lot of walking in going from one end of the venue to the next. But it is, I mean, it really is a huge uh, footprint, huge venue with all the boathouses now in the Whitewater Center. And, of course, with ro the Road to Rio experience going on, we, we filled in part of that area with all these really cool interactive exhibits and activities. People got to hold the actual Olympic torch and do a virtual reality tour of, of different sports. And there's footage provided by yours truly, Mike Knopf him, himself <laughs> shot this. He posted it on Facebook, and your comment was, it had to be big. It had to be big. I mean, it's like, what, a, what an incredible 
uh, moment for Oklahoma City to open a truly internationally known, recognized, world-class facility with the Olympic trials and to have, and so this fireworks display, I think, really, uh, really made a statement. And especially to the folks that were here from the U.S. Olympic Committee who have been all over the world and to be able to show. They've seen we, a party or we two, We know right? how to do it big. So. <laughs> All right, so moving forward, what's next out there? You've opened up the Riversport Rapids. I'm yeah. sure you guys are catching your breath, trying to figure out where you put various things that you just moved <laughs> yeah. into, yeah. you know, uh, relocate some folders yeah. or whatever, but what's next? Sure. Well, we are now in full operation, so you can go get your, your raft trip booked and come on out. We're open uh, weekends right now, but you can also book during the week. Um, and we are starting this week a Swift Water Rescue Program, so a whole, a whole other dynamic of River Sport Rapids where we're going to have firefighters coming out and, and training on Swift Water Rescue techniques. And so that's happening this week, and we continue our raft guide training and looking ahead to what will become, what will be a, a really busy summer out there. Speaking of summer, we're heading towards uh, Memorial Day weekend and then uh, Fourth of July after that. You guys always have stuff going on. We do. I mean, the Memorial Day weekend is really when we're kicking off our seven day a week operation out there, but we'll also be having a lot of music and other activities that will go on over that weekend. And then, of course, looking to Stars and Stripes River Festival at the end of uh, June, which is another big, uh, a big fun event for the whole public, for the, for the public. And so, um, you know, it's just, uh, we encourage people to come out and check it out. This is something that is literally for everyone. I saw People of all shapes and sizes having a blast in the in the whitewater over the weekend, and so we hope everyone comes and checks it out. Mike, hope you have a chance to catch your breath. Congrats on everything this weekend and everything that opened and the success of it all. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, more coverage can be found at riversportokc.org, I believe, and then of course on newsok.com and in the Oklahoma as well.